Take a look at this AI news channel. In the last 30 days, it got over half a million views and made somewhere between $500 to $6,000 per month. Everyone likes to stay updated and news used to be really hard to make. You needed a presenter, a studio, and an audience. Well, with AI, creating your own news channel just became much easier. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use some of the latest AI tools to create a realistic news channel for any niche like gaming, fashion, or technology, and publish bite-sized news stories on socials to engage your audience. Today's video has kindly been sponsored by the team at Veed, which is a video editing platform that my team uses all the time. Veed have recently added a whole host of AI tools from voice cloning to AI avatars and more to their already stacked platform, and they even have a GPT launched on the GPT store. Okay, so the first step is to go over to Google and just search Google News, and now we can find some articles that are easy to make a video about. I'm particularly interested in technology, so I'm gonna look for something in the technology section, like this article about the R1. And now we've got this, we can copy the article into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite it like it's a news story for a news channel and turn that into a script for us. And now we're just gonna copy this. Okay, so now we have the script for our news story. We're gonna head over into Veed for step two. In Veed, I'm on the pro subscription and I've got access to avatars and voice cloning. And so I'm gonna select a new project from here using an avatar. Avatars are selectable in the media section. And if I have a look through here, I think this guy looks like he might be a good tech reporter for my tech news channel. Okay, cool. And now I'm gonna copy in my script from ChatGPT and use the text to speech tool to then create my avatar. So as you can see, I'm pasting in my script here and then I'm clicking generate. I can now adjust the size of my avatar and move him around and do things like removing any background too if I want to. Couple of other cool things here, I can translate what he's saying using AI and even change the speed and cadence of his speech. Right, so let's add our newsroom background. So I'm gonna head back over to the media area and I'm gonna find some stock footage that's suitable. Let's try searching for a term like newsroom or news studio and this one looks pretty good. I'm gonna move this below my avatar on the playhead so that it's behind my news reader and then I'm gonna make sure it's visible the whole length of the video by copying and extending it. Okay, so this already looks pretty good but I'd like to add in a video of the R1 from the news story into the background and so I I can drag this in and drop it onto the video and let it upload. I'm then gonna position this and try and resize it so it fits into the space around this TV monitor. Okay, nice, this is already starting to look pretty good. I'm now just gonna listen through the video and try and make it as engaging as possible in order to hold people's attention. So I'm gonna start by just speeding up our avatar speech rate slightly, maybe to around 1.2, which sounds pretty good. And I'm then gonna use the Remove Silences tool to reduce any gaps and hold people attention. Then let's also edit out any unnecessary content and try and get things down to under a minute. I'm gonna use a sound effect from the media library that pops when this appears on screen. Okay, perfect. Now, if I wanted to at this point, I could also do things like adding in some background music or changing up the actual size of the video to save it as a short or a reel or a TikTok for socials. But for now, I'm gonna keep it optimized for YouTube and export it 4K. Now, when I export, I can also decide to change up the language or add captions too, or play with some of the other options. As I'm exporting, there are also some extra features for socials like using AI to add chapters or to suggest a title for my YouTube video. Let's check out what my video looks like. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz from CES 2024, the Rabbit R1, a revolutionary AI handheld gadget priced at just $199. This isn't your average tech toy. With a two, 88 inch touchscreen, a rotating camera and a scroll wheel, it's designed for simplicity and ease of use. Now, I'm pretty happy with how that looks, but I want to show you one more thing. I mentioned at the top of the video that Veed has their own GPT in the GPT store, and I wanna quickly show you that as it's pretty cool too. So we can head over directly into ChatGPT and use Veed's GPT to outline the kind of video scene that we want. So we can describe this conversationally in ChatGPT, just like we might do with a video assistant. When we're happy with our video outline, we can then hit continue and it will ask us for permission to connect to Veed and then it will generate a template project complete with B-roll and audio. Pretty awesome, right? Now, if I want, I can then add in my own avatar and take the text from ChatGPT that I generated earlier 
and this is already formatted for TikTok so that I've got a different format of video to export. And then just like that, we've created two engaging AI news clips in just a few minutes that can be shared on socials or used to engage your team or employees. Now, I'd love to see your results with this strategy in the comments below. If you wanna take it a step further, you can check out my newsletter that's got tons more practical AI tips, or if you want to see some more YouTube videos from me, you can click on the next video screen over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next one.